Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how you can take guard at the crease when you're batting. We're going to go through the three guards that are detailed here. So middle, leg, and middle and leg. And on top of that, we're going to go through some of the positives and negatives for each of these guards. But before we do that, I'm going to go through a few reasons why it's important to consider what guard you choose when you're batting. So, let's get into it now. Taking the proper guard is important for a number of reasons. Firstly, it helps you understand your position on the crease and helps you visualize where your stumps are. Understanding where your stumps are will also assist you in judging the line of the ball and whether or not you should be playing a delivery or leaving it. Basically, you wanna know where your off stump is at all times. So now let's look at middle guard also known as center guard. In this position, your eyes are basically on or just outside off stump. This will help you identify any deliveries that are outside the line of off stump. This guard also encourages batsmen to play on the leg side. As the ball is coming into the batsman's pads, it makes it easier to play on the leg side. However, in saying this, it also increases the chances of LBW. This is because the batsman is covering his stumps with his legs. And if the batsman has a trigger movement, like back and across just at the point of delivery, this could also further increase the chances of getting out LBW. Finally, if the batsman isn't careful and has a trigger movement such as moving back and across, they can also lose track of where their leg stump is and this increases the possibility of being bowled around their legs. The middle stump guard is great for batsmen who like to play off their legs and enjoy playing on the leg side. However, given that the batsman now covers most of his stumps with his legs, it's important to remember that he has a higher chance of being out LBW with this position. Now let's talk about the leg stump guard. With this position, your eyes should just be over leg stump. This position is great for those players who like to play on the off side. It frees up your arms and any balls directed at the stumps can be worked through the off side. This guard also encourages leg side play purely because there's a lower likelihood of getting out LBW. As you can see here, if the batsman was to be hit on the pads, there would be no chance of being out LBW as the ball is likely moving down the leg side already. However, this position has an increased risk when leaving the ball because the batsman needs to make sure he knows where the off stump is at all times. This guard is great for batsmen who like to play primarily on the off side and it minimizes your chances of being out LBW if you have more of your stumps visible and your legs are outside the line of the stumps. Finally, we're gonna look at middle and leg, which is also known as two legs. This guard is a combination of the two guards we've just discussed. It's great for play both on the off side and the leg side. And it provides a better understanding of where your off stump is. Compared to the leg stump guard, there's still a slight increase in the risk of LBW. However, for the majority of players, this guard will be suitable. And unless you have a preference on playing on the off side or the leg side, I would recommend this guard when you're batting. So I hope this video was helpful. I think the main thing to remember here is that you want to know where your off stump is at all times. If you'd like to support this channel, please like the video and subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.